Hey, what's up YouTube? Gonna be taking a look at Blizzpop 2.0. Now this is currently running a build from February 3rd, 2015. You are going to have Android 5.0.2 with this ROM, and this thing is completely packed with features. I can't go over all of these features in detail because this video would be over 20 minutes, but I'm gonna go over the highlights to the best of my ability and hope I leave nothing out. The first thing you're gonna notice is the status bar, and on the top of this status bar, you have the ability to change pretty much anything you want to. You can change the colors on the icons of your Wi-Fi and carrier strength signals. You also have breathing SMS, missed calls, and voicemail options. You, of course, get the slider to adjust your brightness on the status bar if that interests you, and you do have your network traffic that you can enable if you like to view your data incoming and outgoing. And you do have a battery bar option as well, which some ROMs do not offer. And you can put that up there on the status bar, or you can put it on the navigation bar if you use the Lollipop default nav bar. And you can change the color of that as well. And you can also make the bar thicker if you want to, all the way up to 4DP, one to four. So you have the values there. You also have a charging animation that you can enable, and you can put that over on the side or centered. You also are going to find in the navigation settings that you can disable that navigation bar completely if you so choose. You can adjust it on a percentage value in both portrait and landscape modes. So if you don't want it to be the same in each orientation, you have the ability to change that. You also have Pi controls integrated into this ROM. You can set up your triggers according to what you want and you can adjust your levels. You can disable the clock or certain applications or settings through this. You do have your notification drawer, and in here you can basically adjust anything you want. You can disable the slider if you use automatic brightness or if you use the status bar to change your brightness. You can also highlight two specific toggles if you want to with the very first and large first row here. So if you want that, you have it. You have full customization. You can in fact change the tiles at order or priorities accordingly in the select and order tiles. You can add more. There's a lot of different options in here. And you can, of course, delete anything you don't want based on your values. Another thing that I really, really like with Bliss Pop that's not featured on stock Android for whatever reason or other ROMs is advanced quick toggle settings. So if I go and press my Wi-Fi, I can actually see all the available networks or the specific ones that I am logged into. I can also disable it just by tapping on that icon right there. And I can go into more settings or push my Wi-Fi to get the proper password settings or what I need to enter. You also have your location that you can toggle on and you can pick your modes right here without going into another layer. You do have your heads up option here and you can disable this completely if that is something that annoys you when you are streaming or watching media. You do have gesture anywhere, which you can launch from either the left or right side, but be aware that if you have gesture anywhere and the app circle bar enabled, the app circle bar can only be placed on the right side. So if you are using both, be careful with your layer triggering because it could conflict with each other and you might have some issues with launching either of these specific features. You also have a built-in equalizer if you guys like to use an equalizer and you can enable this and go through the preset options they have here by swiping or you can do a custom value. In your display settings, you have the ability to do 360 degrees of rotation you do have the percentage value for font uh, resampling or resizing. You do have expanded desktop, which is really nice. And that will basically just put a certain application that you want into a full screen mode. So if you don't use the nav bar, you can hide both the status bar or the nav bar if you use it, and it will place your applications in full screen mode. You do have the ambient display timeout included with this ROM. So you can set that value depending on if you want the screen to be initialized longer or shorter. You do have, in fact, LED notifications with Bliss Pop. You can change it based on any values or colors you want from the RGB. You can also add certain applications you want to use and change the colors on each specific application if you want to. You can use custom values. You can also enable battery lights if you want to use that. And you can disable both of these if you do not want to use them. You are going to have advanced options as well, which will allow you to turn off that camera shutter sound. Uh, your screenshot sounds and the warning that you get when you're turning your volume up too high when you're listening to music or media. You do have volume steps as well that you can adjust. So if you want to step up your volumes in greater or lower values, you do have the option to come in here and change those. In privacy, you are going to have your privacy guard and this will you know, disable personal data being collected from applications or anything like that. You also have blacklist features and whisper push that you can enable. 
You do have some performance tweaking if you use the stock kernel that comes with it. You can go in here and adjust your processor and you can set the values on each boot accordingly. Same thing with your IO scheduler and device control will put you in some advanced feature options here and more details that you can look over. So some pretty great integration. And that pretty much sums it up. The only other thing you're going to get in the developer options is the ability to turn on that advanced reboot. Make sure you enable that. If it is not, that way you can get your advanced reboot options. Can't live without those. You do in fact have an ad blocker you can turn on and update your host files to block those annoying ads and applications. And you do have a wake lock blocker featured in here if that is something you choose to use as well. But that pretty much sums it up. This is in fact BlissPop 2.0 in a nutshell. It is running 5.0.2 Android. It is running a stock kernel. And as I mentioned, if you're going to flash a custom kernel, just check the XDA thread before so and make sure you make a backup beforehand because there are a couple little issues with some kernels uh, you know not booting properly or force closing the system UI so go on there and check and make sure which build uh, date is working with which custom kernels as everybody is talking and discussing the current flash on there and you will in fact see that I am running February 3rd build date and I've had no issues with AT&T LTE or anything like that once you set the APN values Anyway, guys, I hope this video helps you. Hope you uh, like Bliss Pop if you check it out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.